All right, guys, first of all, thanks for coming to the clinic. I uh, just want to give you a quick uh, review of what we covered. Uh, the first thing is, is I want you to focus on what does the swing in a golf club, okay? Like we talked about, it's really important to get the separation of the upper body from the lower body, and we have to get that posture good at setup. So what I want you to do, a couple drills you can do, push the hips back, slightly flex the knees, okay? So, and then you have your shoulder blades kind of pushing together so you get neutral. Put that club on the back of your lower back. If you have a gap there, you know that you're arching your back too much, so push it back so we get to that neutral spine. That's the first thing, so we gotta have a good setup position. Okay, the next thing is that warm-up routine. So I'm gonna go through that warm-up routine real quick, okay, to help you get those muscles and joints going before uh, you, know, you tee off. First thing, just go thumbs forward. Just do nice little circles. <clears throat> Start small to big. Do about eight rotations, then switch it up, go the other direction. Go thumbs up. Do eight rotations, reverse, and thumbs back, eight rotations, and then reverse. Okay, now I want you to grab your driver, and we're going to work on the sequence. I want you to get in your normal posture, try to get to that neutral posture again, and I want you to work on that sequence, okay? Try to get the hip leading, then the trunk. That's super important for the golf swing is getting that sequence, okay? If you can't get that sequence, we're going to have a lot of compensation in the swing. We're going to have a lot of inconsistency. Okay, so then I want you to just work the upper trunk. Just take your leg here, and we're just going to do trunk twist. Trying to really rotate and get that stretched out of your upper thoracic. Okay, now I want you to massage out the calves. Okay, hit on those spots that are a little tender, and just really work those out. Okay, take the club here, really stretch it. You're stretching the hip also, but you're really stretching the calf and the soleus. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Rotate. Feel that pop. Okay, then I want you to massage out that calf. Really work it in those spots that are tender. Stretch out that hip and keep your heel on the ground, just let it go forward. Okay, so you should feel pretty good. Now we're going to take the driver, we're going to push it down, okay? I want you to activate that core. What we're going to do is just work our hips. Just a little bit on the back swing, a lot on the through swing. So if you're left-handed, it's going to look like this. If you're right-handed, it's going to look like this. I want you to start getting that feeling of the correct motion of the hips, separating from the upper body. Okay, that's really important to get that separation. Now take it off your left shoulder, keep your right hip, but if you're right-handed, okay, this is for the right-handed golfer, you're going to rotate, okay, we want to keep that from that shoulder leveling out or going too steep, rotate it, so turn, turn without moving that right leg, okay, then we switch it around after a few times of those, try to get to the left side, so now we get that hip releasing with our trunk, staying in posture, that's going to help us maintain that posture and those angles really going to help you with your consistency, okay? So that's a quick routine I want you to do, uh, and then just keep doing that every day. So you know, you're going to make progress and progress. Really, you know, pay attention to that sequence, okay? The next drills I want you to do is the three ball drill. Just work on 50%, 70%, and then 90%. You probably want to go right around that 70% so you find your range. We want to be thinking smooth. So smooth is not fast, it's not slow, it's just a good set at the top and then you're able to transition doing that sequence without the shoulder coming up. So we want to just rotate in there, okay? Ball position, all that stuff is fundamentals, that's all important with your driver. Okay, I'm just going to show you. Put it in the middle of your stance and just step with your right, okay? You can put clubs down to help you with alignment. And then with your irons, you just go left and then right. So it's always more in the middle of the stance. Again, the sequence doesn't change, ball placement changes. So you're still feeling that same motion that we need to to be consistent in the golf swing. If you have any questions, anything else that we discussed, I want to hit on those main keys, the warm-up, the pre-shot routine. When it comes to pre-shot routine, make sure that you're you know, taking your time, relaxing, let all the tension go out. When it comes to setup position, just make sure you're extended and then you bend from the hips, okay? So that's where this drill really helps you. So we're bending from the hips, not arching our back, getting it to neutral, and then we can let the club do the work because we're getting the correct sequence, okay? For speed, for club head speed, flip that club around, we'll do the whip it drill. So now you do the same thing, but whip it through impact, okay?
Okay? Let that sequence. You should hear it whip through, right through impact. It shouldn't be back here with the arms. You should feel that sequence, okay? So if you work on those key positions, I think that's really going to help you improve long term. That's the solid shot system. Again, if I can help you more with your body, that's going to take more one-on-one -on -one instruction, more uh, screening, things that we can do with the evaluation that will help you pinpoint exactly what you need, not just what to everybody. So the general, the clinic was more for everybody, but uh, I think this stuff where you can take with you and it will help you know, you right away rather than this quick fix stuff. So it's gonna, I think it's gonna, you know, give you the long-term fix. They're just gonna take with you that will help you. And then also, uh, if I can help you any way with your body, doing exercise, things like that, just let me know. We'll talk to you soon.